What is up guys, Jay here, and I'm back again with another video. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about one specific thing. And that's Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 going to EVO. Now, I know that seems like super far-fetched, but if we really think about it, guys, during the early development of uh, Storm Revolution, uh, CC2's idea, well, I guess Namco's idea too, was to try and get Naruto to go to EVO, but the only problem with sending an an having an anime game try to get into EVO is it has to be balanced. Although that has been like the biggest issue of the Naruto games is trying to get them balanced, um, there's also games that exist at EVO that are unbalanced, such as Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, that is probably one of the most unbalanced games I've ever played in such a long time. And so, you know, it's not too far-fetched to see Naruto go to EVO. There just needs to be slight tweaks and, well, not slight tweaks, but a lot of tweaks. So there's got to be tweaks, of course, to the game, to the mechanics, and also to the characters themselves. There's already a couple of anime-based games at EVO, but as far as I know, they're pretty balanced. They're all pretty even. Uh, Blaze Blue, uh, Guilty Gear, um, and there was one other one, and Persona. So, you know, these games have been at EVO for a while. Uh, why can't Naruto go? I think Naruto is a very... I think it's a big enough anime to go. I don't think, like, a One Piece could go, even though One Piece is a really, 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 you know, popular series. I don't think a One Piece could go only because it would have to establish years of creating a s consistent fighting game. Like, yeah, One Piece has had some great fighting games, but they're mostly like, if you're not Luffy, you don't win. So, you know, and then, of course, you know, for certain circumstances, there's like, there's characters like uh, Zolo or whatever, whatever the fuck his name is, and Sanji, and, you know, those guys are pretty cool. But at the same time, I think uh, Naruto has already established its basis for being able to be a very balanced game. It's just... They have to figure out, yes, some of the characters are bigger and badder than others, but they should be the same level, at least on a competitive level. Like, in the story mode, I understand. They're stronger, they're faster, they're better, right? In multiplayer, you kind of have to nerf that. You have to take those abilities back down. Like, some of the characters, uh, regular jutsu should be as powerful as some of the other ones. Like, I remember in Storm 2, one of the biggest things was, uh, Naruto's, uh, Rasengan Barrage used to do a crap ton of damage. So, you know, I think, uh, tweaking all of this stuff would definitely make it a lot easier to have Naruto go to EVO 2016 and be a possible competitor. Because if you really think about it, a lot of the games that are coming out, they're Street Fighter V. Street Fighter has always had a place at EVO, it's always been part of the FGC, um, you know, because of all of its, you know, technical aspects and like that, and, you know, frames and fucking hitboxes and all that cool stuff, and so is Marvel. But here's the thing about Marvel is, um, ever since Disney bought Marvel, well, ever since Disney bought Marvel, the company, um, they kind of wanted to make a few tweaks to Marvel vs. Capcom and make the Marvel characters a little bit more powerful and them to be a lot more flashy. And Capcom doesn't really operate that way. Capcom really, uh, since they've worked on so many fighting games, they know how to balance a game. They know how to how to make every single character on the same level depending on, you know, the skill level of a player. So it's not too far-fetched. If Marvel can be there, then so could Naruto. And I'm not using that as, like, my main point in my argument, but... Uh, so much so that uh, Naruto could definitely be tweaked because we have Namco Bandai, who is the publisher uh, and creators of Tekken. Tekken being one of the biggest fighters out there next to Street Fighter and Marvel as well, and I guess Smash. I don't really want to discuss Smash because it's, it's just Smash. So, <laughs> um, nothing against Smash, I just, it's not relevant to this, to this argument right now, to this conversation, to this discussion right now. Um, but... I think uh, Naruto could be a very big competitor uh, because Marvel has been discontinued, because Capcom refused to work on it with Disney and have them uh, make their character super OP, which is, which is fine and dandy if a character's flashy. Like, flashy I get, but more powerful than all of the Capcom characters? Then, no, it's, it's a fighting game. It's got to be fair at some point, like, down at a certain level. So, you know, I think... Uh, 
I think if CC2 were to really reach out to Namco and be like, listen, we're, we're going to push the game back anyway. Because by, by now, there's no release date. They're going to push the game back. Push the game back. Like, let it come out late spring of 2016. Just, just push the game back and work on it some more. So that way, we could potentially get some better longevity for this game. Um, I think that is probably one of the biggest things about this game is the longevity. It's like uh, when you're playing Grand Theft Auto, you can play Grand Theft Auto for days, weeks, months on end, right? And like every every experience is a little different. I think Naruto could definitely have that if it were a competitive fighter um, and adopted by the FGC. Now, I a lot of the players I know in the FGC, I don't know them like personally. I only know like three personally and they're not even, they're like mid-level names or something. Um, not even mid-level. Um, but they're, they participate, basically. And all three of these guys have said, no, like, Naruto's never gonna make it. Well, why not? And they, they could never give me a good reason besides balancing. Okay, well, what if we fix balancing? Then what? And I think it's because they didn't like Naruto. That's, that's why they couldn't get behind it. But, anyway, uh, bias aside, um... Let me know in the comment section if you guys think Naruto Storm 4 would be a good competitor at EVO 2016. And also, if you don't, let me know why. And if you do, let me know why. I really want to hear from you guys. This is a very big topic because I, I like Naruto. I really, really love Naruto. Even though I'm a game commentator and I commentate on, like, you know, pretty much every game I play. Um, and I'm also, you know, game discussions and stuff like that. You know, I still haven't put on my Batman video, which I really need to do. But I took back Batman today because I finished it and I was like, there's nothing else for me to do. And I don't really want to keep playing it. So, um, I tried to get the 100%, but I, I just realized I didn't want to play through the game again. Like, one time was good enough for me. Uh, but anyway, uh, make sure to give this video a like, guys. Share it with all your Naruto friends, all your anime fans, and... Um, hopefully some people in the FGC will be like, you know what, this, these are very compelling arguments and stay unbiased to why as Naruto should, should or should not go to Evo. So, um, but anyway, I will catch you guys in the comments section and I, this has been Jay and I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure to keep it canon.